Hello everyone and welcome to round 5 of the 2013 Pokemon TCG World Championships. I am Puka and with me is Pram. How you doing Pram? Doing good. You know, uh, we're pretty excited uh, and that uh, we got some of these games and we get to see a pretty good match here. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we have some international players here which will be a nice treat. On the left we have Xavier Chua from Singapore. And on the right we have Hansel Ivan Caballero. I probably butchered that name, but he is from Mexico, and uh, we should have an interesting matchup here between two players we really don't get to see very often. Yeah, definitely, and I would have butchered that name much worse, so don't feel <laughs> too bad about it. And uh, yeah, I, I know uh, Hansel is running Blastoise, so he's gonna he's gonna get in some damage. Hopefully, maybe some Black Ballistas, maybe three of them. Who knows? Yeah. So I mean, that's definitely gotta... retreat. That's got to be his game plan. Um, get Blastoise up, do big damage. That's pretty much Blastoise for you. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like Xavier is opening with... Uh, he just flipped it over. Is that a Terrakian? Oh, yeah. He's in for some uh, Retaliates and Land Crushes. <laughs> well, that's a card we don't really see very often anymore. Uh, it looks like he's playing a Plasma deck with a Terrakian tech. It's something that was very popular in... Um, a lot of European countries, well, I saw it won a lot of um, national championships, you know, Plasma with Terrakian, and then they would play Scramble Switch, maybe for the Darkrai matchup, maybe for the Mirror match, to knock out Thunderous EX. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very good, you know, in those matchups. Uh, however, against Blastoise, it's not going to prove as useful, and we do see a super explosive start Jeez. out of uh, <laughs> out of Hansel. Uh Double Keldeo, three Squirtles, a Black Kyrum. Oh, man. If he just gets Tropical Beach. Then, He's already got uh, it out there. Oh, yeah, you're right. I didn't see it. but uh, <laughs> Okay, so this is basically the best start uh, Blastoise could ask for ever. Yeah. Um, the only downside is you kind of played into Absol a little bit, but if you start Black Ballista in turn two or Secret Sword, who really cares? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, if I'm Xavier, I'm just looking at that like, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> they just put down three Squirtles. Um, Plasma, your strategy against Blastoise usually is to catch the Squirtles early on. You know, make sure they don't get Blastoise in play. And if they do, you want to take it out of play immediately. And, um, when you see three Squirtle, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you do. Xavier's plan is pretty simple on this one. Plasma Gale it. Plasma Gale for two prizes on each Squirtle, and uh, you won't even have to deal with the Exes if you do it like that. Um, so maybe that's his game plan here. Ultra Ball's away two energy cards. Uh, it's going to really fuel up Thunderous's right and knuckle later on. So good to see he's getting in position to kind of fight back this explosive turn one out of Hansel. Yeah, now even though Hansel got that big start, it doesn't really mean he has like a rare candy to Blastoise. A lot of times with Blastoise, you can just have a handful of junk, even after a tropical beach, and you just kind of look at it and go, uh, all right, let's play an end. <laughs> and <get a> fresh <laughs> end. So maybe his hand will be bad, but there is a chance that he could absolutely explode on this turn. Don't worry. Uh, Hansel has nothing to worry about because uh, there's no supporter in Xavier's hand. Ooh. So uh, he's going to have to use tropical beach this turn. Probably maybe put the energy on the Lugia. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like this if his game plan is Lugia. You know, just kind of get it, make it put a little bit easier to power up. That or the uh, Thunderous, either one would work. Yeah, you can see, it looks like his deck kind of is focused around that Lugia. No, oh, there's Rare Candy, there's a Blastoise, there's a Lightning. Uh, oh boy, what's coming from Hansel next? Uh, a lot of energy cards and an N. So uh, he, he gets a catcher too. And uh, oh, a Juniper, even better. And the knockout. Yeah, he has a superior in his hand, so this is going to be a knockout. Uh, what just happened? This is <laughs> this is by far like the best start you could ask for with the Blastoise deck. Um, he's gonna looks like he's gonna rush in, and then maybe retreat off those two energies so he can get a full superior energy retrieval. Yep. Um, That's but, exactly what he's doing. Man, yeah. uh, turn two Black Ballista is the most intimidating start you can have with any deck in this format, I think. Just 200 damage turn two, 
and that can just happen every single turn from here on out. Uh, Xavier has got to be thinking, oh boy, now what? Not only that, he gets to put all the energies he wants onto this Black Chirum. He gets the energy search for an energy card. This is just silly. Uh, this one Blastoise turn two, and um, he's probably gone through at least half his deck. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's played, what, two Junipers right away, a Tropical Beach for, like, five or six cards in the first turn. He's drawn through a ton of cards, and he's only played one Superior Energy Retrieval so far. Um, turn two, he just took two prizes. I, I don't know what else to say. Oh, yeah, this is uh, quite a stomping. Um, however, you know, if there's a deck that can make comebacks, it's definitely Plasma. Uh, that deck can go behind and then kind of engineer wins. So Plasma is a deck that's really resilient, and I think Xavier may be able to eke a win here if he draws the right cards and things like that. Yeah, the game's definitely not over, but um, you'd have to say Xavier is at a big disadvantage here just... First of all, he doesn't even have any energy in play. Uh, the big attackers for Plasma, it would be either Curum or Lugia. Maybe Absol in this, play, in this case, because there is a full bench out there. But uh, for the most part, Curum and Lugia are going to be your big two attackers. And they are expensive attackers. Curum takes three energy, two of them being water. So you need two turns to power him up. And Lugia takes four energy. So mm -hmm. I don't think we can really see any offense out of Xavier this turn. Which means Hansel could get another Black Ballista off, and Xavier could just be down four prizes before he even gets a big attack off. Well, hopefully for Xavier, this Terrakion doesn't get to see more play than it already has. Uh, kind of even uh, make Hansel's prizes uneven, so uh, it kind of affects him more with N, and that's and it really doesn't hurt uh, Xavier because all his attackers are going to be EXs from here on out for yeah. the most part. So we saw a little dispute there. It looked like Xavier tried to take back his uh, energy attachment. And Hansel's like, uh, no, you played that down. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, little dispute there, but it looks like they handled it. Um, and, and now we see a catcher onto the Keldeo with damage on it and a laser. What do you think about this? He's playing his hand down for Bicycle. Um, this is kind of the trap of Bicycle, I think. Uh, lasers are going to be very helpful in getting... Uh, those EXs down to numbers where you can kind of manage. And he's really used two lasers for 10 damage each because there's double Keldeo out. And he's, he's known it, like, both times he did laser. So this is uh, a questionable pull -up play, but I think it might work out if he can get out some Lugias. Yeah, what do you think about going for the Keldeo instead of just, you know, leaving that Black Kiram active? Or did he have to just to draw a card off bicycle i i think he had to just to draw one card off bicycle it depends if he was also like no supporter then you, you know bad situation he kind of just has to do it but yeah it's just unfortunate yeah seems like it all right so we got a chorus here for a nice seven cards that'll give him some more options and there's another deoxys See, it looked like he had another... Yeah, there's a second Lugia EX, so he might be going for the big Plasma Gale strategy now. Oh, yeah. He's thinking about Riding Knuckle or Pass, to be honest. And, um... Or rather, Tropical Beach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's looking at either of those two options. Which one can get him a quicker Plasma Gale? And it looks like it's Riding Knuckle. So he's gonna put that Plasma Energy onto the Lugia and then try to get in there for, like, three prizes and just kind of cross your fingers that uh, Hanzo doesn't draw a superior energy retrieval. Yeah. Well, I, I think he's hoping... Well, he, he might expect just the Thunderous to go down. At the very least, he probably wants the Lugia to survive. Uh, oh, looks like that might oh, not man. happen, though. <laughs> uh, here's another catcher immediately from Hanzo, and he's going to rush in with the other Keldeo. Uh, he could rush in again and then get the free retreat with Floatstone. And then uh, it's just a superior energy retrieval, and there's yeah, one. There it is, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to see another Black Blista. So turn three, he'll be taking four prizes. Oh, yeah, this is strong. And it looks like he's going to be able to dump his hand completely. Uh, I don't know if he wants to keep that end or not. It really depends. But it looks like he's opting to just kind of play everything. Um, yeah. He's going to play superior. 
And maybe the energy retrieval, normal one? Uh, yep. Yeah, he's getting back six energy this turn. Uh, and this is the power of Blastoise. Obviously, you get that Deluge ability. Get to attach as many water energy as you like during your turn. And then, of course, you use your regular attachment for that lightning energy so that you can Black Ballista for 200 in a single turn. Not bad. Oh, yeah, this is very strong. And he's powered up a Keldeo for just in case things go bad. And he's in great shape here. He has a two-card hand. Yeah, and he, even if things go bad, he can just Tropical Beach. So. Yeah, for sure. Now, um, we did see him... He, he could have retreated with the Floatstone Keldeo, and it looks like he accidentally overlooked that and kind of retreated two energy away for no reason. Uh, we'll see if that ends up hurting him later or not. He may have such a big advantage that it won't, but um, yeah, he, he might have been nervous or something. This is a big stage, you know, being recorded. There's a lot of pressure here. Round five, both these guys are 4-0, so um, there's there's a lot on the line here. Oh, yeah, Definitely. And here we go. We see uh, Xavier banning the Lugia strategy with the discard of the DCE. Maybe he's just like, well, you got two of my Lugias. Uh, there's no way I play a third one. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Are we going to see a Shadow Triad get that Lugia back? Oh, man, that'd be the sickest play. <laughs> uh, that would also explain like why there's lasers in the discard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I can just get them back with Shadow Triad. No problem. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's going to happen, but yeah, you never know. It's always an option. Uh, he's going to go for the Curum, though, and, man, it's just one more Black Blist on an EX, and Hans is going to win this game in four turns. Oh, what yeah, can Xavier do here? Uh, ride and Knuckle hope for the best. He really needs an end, or not even an end. He just kind of, like, he wants an end for later in case, like, Hansel's hand off those two cards aren't that good. But he's going to want to get some uh, attackers powered up. He's going. looks like he's going for Deoxys here. Okay. Um, so it doesn't look like he just has anything to deal with that Black Kirim, unfortunately. The only thing going for him is that Hansel did play his hand down to zero last turn. So his only two cards now are those two prizes he got from the knockout. There's a chance he just won't have the cards to get a knockout this turn. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, unfortunately, I think Hansel just threw a water energy. <laughs> so uh, this is going to this is gonna be, bring some, in some pain here. And uh, But it actually, this, this one prize might actually be a good thing. It's weird. Uh, you, you can bring your opponent down to one and just kind of hope that things go well after this. Yeah, so he's so. going to get the fourth water energy, rush in with Keldeo. And then Secret Sword for 130 damage, knock out that Trakian. He'll be down to one prize, and uh, six to one here. But you never know. If if Xavier can get maybe an N, uh, a Verbank, and a Laser, could be in some good shape. Yeah, if he gets... I saw he had a Verbank in his hand, so there it is. And if he has an N with a Laser... Oh, there's the Laser. Oh, man, this is a big turn. Yeah. Does he have a Laser or a, an N to go with this? No, it looks like he's got the Skyla. But this isn't all terrible. Um, again, Hansel only has probably three cards in his hand. And uh, they weren't very good. So unless he got a good one off his prizes, he's still going to be stuck with kind of a bad hand. And with that uh, Tropical Beach gone, he doesn't have that to fall back on to you know, refill his hand. And Helix Force is going to do enough damage to knock out this Keldeo this turn. So maybe we could see the start of a comeback. Oh, yeah, definitely, and with uh, there's so much damage on the other Caldeo, too, that you could see some uh, Raiden Knuckle plays onto it. Maybe if the Verbank got to stay, but maybe if uh, Xavier can get another Verbank out, he'll be in great shape, especially with that end that he got last turn. Yeah, that Tropical Beach was a huge card for Hansel. I mean, not only to counter the Verbank to make the lasers do less damage, but to refill his hand up to seven. We did see Xavier Skyler for an end last turn, though, so he is going to reset that hand down to one. But that's still a huge play to just have that option to fall back on. Uh, time is on his side at this point, since he's up so many prizes. He can afford to just kind of Tropical Beach for a few turns, and he'll still be able to take his last prize at some point. It's interesting how close board-wise this game actually is. Uh, 
you know, Blastoise had to turn to everything going first. And even though the pri there's a prize disparity, this is actually can get kind of close relatively fast. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the biggest problem for Xavier here is he doesn't have any attacker powered up that just does raw damage. The Kiram isn't powered up yet. Uh, Deoxys is reliant on your opponent having energy attached. So right now he's maxing out at like 60 damage. Um, and he really does, just doesn't have a big attacker to keep putting pressure on. He's going to have to take a turn to, you know, set up that Kiram. Yeah, he, it looks like he's just trying to thin his deck out for when he uses N. But uh, I think the, the second Thunderous here was a little bit of an overcommitment. But we'll, uh, we'll see how this N plays out. And yep. he really has to get a Verbank right now. Or else Xavier is just going to Tropical Beach. Or uh, Hansel is just going to Tropical Beach. And it's going to be rough. Definitely. Uh, if Xavier can hit the Verbank here, he'll probably be in some good shape. Uh, Hansel did play like three or four Junipers already in those opening turns. So he doesn't have too many of those left. And I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I also agree with you. I don't know why he put down that Thunderous EX. You got to think if Xavier's going to make a comeback here, it's got to be with Kyurem attacking in back-to-back -back turns. So maybe he would like to have that bench spot open for a Keldeo later so he could rush in and retreat and reset that Blizzard burn. Ooh, he drew a good A spec for this situation too. Scramble switch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be able to do 150 with... And that's big. So this is going to be a good situation. Another thing is he could have also played down a second Kyrum and maybe, like, retreated. Just may Like, even if you don't have the switch, you can just retreat after a Blizzard Burn and then Frost Spear. Yeah. So there's op those options, too. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why he put down the second Thunderous. I guess it's just to kind of get it out of his deck so he doesn't mm -hmm. redraw it off of an end. But um, that last punch spot may end up coming to bite him. Uh, he needs, he honestly needs every, like, turn advantage he can get to make this comeback here. Every extra turn that Hanzo gets to draw a new hand with Tropical Beach, that's just one more opportunity he gets to close the game out. Yeah, definitely. And we are going to, we're probably going to see a Scramble Switch. I think that's what would be best. Uh, scramble Switch 150. Yeah, that's, like, real strong. Um, and hopefully... Hansel, what, what do you hope Hansel do, does if you're uh, Xavier? Just beach? Yeah, I mean, yeah. if he does anything else, you probably lose. <laughs> so <laughs> you're hoping he uses beach. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to scramble switch or just retreat into Thunderous and then use Raiden Knuckle to power up Kyurem. Uh If he does do the scramble switch and Blizzard Burn, he really doesn't have a play to follow it because you can't attack with Kyurem the next turn. So I, I think he might just retreat and Raiden Knuckle, seeing that you know, the next turn he won't really be able to do anything. Right. So here we go. here we go. It is the Raiden Knuckle option for sixty. And what does he get back? Probably just uh, another color energy onto Kyrom. Yep, there it is. Yeah. I mean that's gotta be his attacker for the rest of the game. Nothing else does enough damage to really put on the pressure he needs to win this game quickly. And uh interesting to note, if he had a catcher that turn, he actually could have scramble switched into Kyrom and then catchered the Blastoise, which would have been a monster play. But it looks like he doesn't have it. Yep. We do see a Scramble Switch. So he's going to be able to Scramble Switch attach onto the Chirum. And he will be able to knock out this uh, Black Chirum. But just one superior energy retrieval allows Keldeo to knock out uh, regular Chirum. So this is uh, a tricky situation for Xavier. Yeah, if you're Xavier... What's your play here? What do you want to do? Um, he looks like, I think it's Blizzard Burn and kind of cross your fingers. If you have a N here, that'd be like most ideal. If you have a catcher, Otherwise, do you go after Blastoise? Um, yeah, you, you you go for the play that makes them go for more cards. Hopefully that, like, that works out, but you would need to go after another Squirrel too. So it, it can work both ways. But it's, just, it's definitely a tricky situation. Yeah, uh, we did see Hansel discard a lot of rare candy. I think there are three in his discard pile. Um, uh, it looks like uh, some, the, the judges were just a bit confused on what was going on with that Thunderous on the prizes. Oh, yeah. 
so they're gonna make him kind of uh, rearrange his board to make it look a little neater. And now uh, they forgot which one's a discard and which one's a deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the one with Colrus on top is definitely the discard because that was the card just played. <laughs> and uh, well, this is an awkward situation. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think Xavier kind of handed him a pile, and he said, here, uh, look to see which one's my deck and which one's my discard, because I don't want to look at my deck. That's, you know, it's cheating. So if I accidentally give you my deck, I don't care as much, because you right. know, I wouldn't get in trouble for it. So right. now they're just going to call over a judge, because, well, Hansel just looked at his deck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like he just picked up his deck either, so I don't know. This is <laughs> this is just a silly situation, I guess. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this in a tournament before. <laughs> uh, maybe at, like, a city's or <laughs> lower, but I've never seen this at Worlds. But, hey, whatever. Uh, it's not a... It looks like it got resolved normally. Just, just shuffle your deck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what a weird situation. I see people all the time when they're nervous start to shuffle their discard pile on accident but uh i've never seen them actually forget which one's which <laughs> yeah i i've seen them uh do it and it looks it's like they forgot but i usually i usually just go uh that's your discard pile <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's the end of that so we look oh he gets the blast he's going for the blastoise here okay. and this is really your the only play you can really do but you just gotta kind of cross your fingers and hold on yeah, uh, this this has to be what what you have to do here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hansel has a couple superior energy retrievals left, so uh, he actually discarded three rare candy, I think, throughout the huh. course of this game. But oh man, that dowsing machine is going to be huge here. Yeah, he can just get rare candy back, and well, there we go. And uh, two energies on the black Kyrum and Juniper for seven. And this Oof. should be the game. He should get a water off this, but. Did he get one? Uh, he did not. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this is awkward. <laughs> yeah, it just felt like, all right, rare candy blastoise, attach two more energy, juniper. Oh, wait, what happened? Uh, this is all supporters. I don't have any energy. Yeah, this is definitely a weird situation. Um, well, maybe he, he just kind of... Uh, just checking how many superiors he has left, how many energies he has left, because the only thing that can stop him right now is a blizzard burn, which is surprisingly enough. Um, so, yeah, can Xavier just get another blizzard burn out? Yeah, that's going to be the problem here. He he needs to get that Kirim to the bench and then back active if he wants to attack with it again. Um, and Xavier cannot win the game this turn. Uh, he has three prizes left. Even if he knocks out an EX, he can't win this turn. And now, Hansel getting those three energy down on the Black Hiram puts him in that situation where even if Xavier were to knock out the Blastoise, all Hansel has to do is attach one more time to Black Hiram and he blacklists us for the game. So now he's kind of stuck. If he goes after the Blastoise, just one energy wins the game for Hansel. If he goes after the Black Hiram, just a superior energy retrieval wins the game so he's in a tough spot oh definitely and at this point you kind of have to go after the black harem yeah definitely uh, you just kind of cross your fingers and he looks like he wants to go at it with a deoxys which is enough for a knockout so this could be a incredible comeback by xavier if he can get this yeah i i don't know if he has any prism left to actually go after him but if he does have that probably the last prism in his deck and he could Helix Force that Black Kyrum for the knockout. Um, geez, I don't know if, uh, if Hansel has enough energy to Secret Sword a Deoxys for a knockout anymore. Uh, it's definitely questionable. Uh, I know he has like one or two water in his hand, but even then he still needs a superior, which I didn't see any in his hand. So this could be a tricky situation. We do see if... the Floatstone on to Kyrum. Um yeah, I don't know. It's all going to come down to what Xavier does here. Yeah, if he can get the catcher and knockout, that would be the best. And he really has to hit it, or else I think Hansel just kind of just wins. So yeah. this is 
this is, might be the last deciding turn if sure. on how the game is going to flow. Yeah, and if Xavier doesn't have an N, he got to think this game is pretty much over. If he can't disrupt that hand, and I don't see an N in his hand, which is unfortunate. Oh, never oh, mind. There this it one. is. <laughs> <I'm wrong. laughs> okay, so uh, now maybe he could buy himself a turn or two here. And even if he doesn't get a knockout this turn, maybe he can just go back and raid Knuckle, hit for 60, and uh, go from there. And maybe Hansel won't draw the energy. And then he'll get a turn to maybe draw a catcher. He might even choose the Tropical Beach instead. Yeah, so this is this is really a very close game, um, surprisingly how this turned out. If he can get a, uh, a catcher and a prism, then he would be in great shape here. But it doesn't look like he does it, and what do you, I guess you just Ultra Ball and thin your deck out. Yeah, he's out of Plasma Energy at this point. All four are gone. So those chorus machines are dead cards. Um, he's just going to ultra ball away both, it looks like. And then... I'm not sure why he's grabbing a Pokemon, but he, he's just going to Tropical Beach. To fill his hand up to seven. Yeah, you really just have to get a catcher onto that Black Ballista. And yeah. um, and I don't know that he even has any left. He, may, he might have gone through them over the course of the game. Maybe he's got one prized. Who knows? Yeah, he's really just holding on. Maybe uh, Hansel won't draw the energy card he needs. Yeah. All right, so here's the Tropical Beach, and... Uh, there it is. <laughs> uh, the water. <laughs> He's yep. going to rush in with the Floatstone Keldeo, retreat to the Black Kirami X, and Black Ballista for 200 damage, and Hansel will win round five and move on to 5-0 and at the World Championships. What a crazy game. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, that was getting close. He uh, almost was out of energy. I think if he had taken down this uh, Black Hiram with Deoxys, that would have been, like, enough. It so. might have been. There was still one superior left, but, yeah, who knows? Xavier could have pulled that one off. He was just a little short for the whole game. Yep. But a uh, great game overall, uh, especially considering how strong of a start Blastoise had. It's one of those acts where if you get out strong early, it's so hard to lose with it. And... Um, yeah, that's what we saw. It was like it was just an incredible uphill battle for Xavier, but he almost said it, so that was a great game. Yeah, turn two black ballista is pretty good. All right, <laughs> so, uh, so thanks guys for watching. We'll be back with round six here next. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, see you guys for round six. See ya.